my pledge will be to make more people cycle more often and make it easier for people to use their bikes, whether it's for work or whether for pleasure, to make sure that those routes are actually successful and amenable and actually safe that people have got confidence that they can use. If we look to our um, European partners in Holland, the 26% of people use um, their bikes regularly in, in the UK. It's, it's something like 2%. So we've got a long way to go before we can get that figure up. I mean, I think we've got to make cycling accessible to all people. So it's uh, not just for, for um, you know, men of working age, it's also for older people, for younger people, for women, people with disabilities. There are plenty of adaptations you can make so that anybody can ride a bike. I think we've got to be aspirational here, haven't we? We've got to think big and Manchester is a great city. We need to make Greater Manchester greater and bigger and better and it is a world-class city. And if we want to, that to happen, then we've got to see that level of investment coming to Greater Manchester. And as the mayor, I would definitely be seeking that sort of investment to make cycling an option for everybody in Greater Manchester. For every pound invested in cycling, it's estimated there's £5.50 back in social benefits. So from that point of view, it's so important that we actually do do that investment. There's also the environmental benefits as well. If there's less car use, that means we've got less air pollution, we've got less traffic congestion, we're doing things that protect us against further climate change. All the benefits are there for cycling. I think if you want businesses to look at cycling, then that's the way forward, isn't it? If you're getting all that massive social benefit from cycling, then clearly it's a win-win for business as well. We need to make sure we've got the facilities on the tram so that people can easily go and use their Metrolink with a bike in tow. So we've got the storage and the right amount of storage for the number of people that want to use it and make it as easy as possible for people to use their bikes for, for work and for pleasure. I think we need to take the best of both so that when you have a new piece of infrastructure built for cycling, you actually make sure you consult the local people who use the facility, but also have those standards underpinning it as well. For example, in the summer, I did the coast to coast cycle up from uh, Whitehaven to Newcastle. And from that, I learned there's a huge variety of different cycle routes, different grades of roads. Some, you know, you're going along the road with buses trundling past and big vehicles trundling past, or you've got your, your proper calm cycle routes. But we need to make sure all that is integrated. I think what we need to make sure is that anybody anywhere in the city can hire a bike if they want to, to be able to go anywhere they want to. We need to make sure that facility is in there. We need to make sure it's got the proper publicity so people understand it. And actually anyone coming to the city, if they want to just ride their bike anywhere in the city, we should have that there. We should have the infrastructure to make sure that happens. I think Brophy's bikes would be a great idea.